This is Robert Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're here at the Microcap Conference 2015 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me right now is a familiar face, Mr. Nick Hodge from the Outsider Club. Nick, welcome back to SNN Live. Thanks, Bobby. Always a pleasure to see you. So, you know, it's been a couple months. We just recently did an interview on the podcast talking about resources, how to approach investing in them. So for this Wall Street View, let's start off with what's the state of the resource market? What's happening? Uh, well, the state of the resource market is grim. It's been grim for three or four years now. Commodity prices continue to be debased. Um, there's no investor demand for the equities. There's no consumer demand for the resources, and which is really why the entire sector is in the tank. Soup to nuts, copper, zinc, gold, uranium, all the way. Um, and I think it's extremely cheap right now and will probably get cheaper, hopefully, for, for people that want to buy over the next two months during the course of tax law selling. So what... What can change this? Or is there any kind of catalyst that we should maybe be looking out for that might change what's going on? Yeah, well, in the short term, I think um, it's going to be short-term catalyst, right? Investor demand in January and February, I think, picking over the tax loss ashes is going to see um, some equities go up 20 or 30, 40 percent. We saw that in January and February of 2015. I, I expect to see that again in 2016. So I'm sticking with the same names I like before. Um, um, I'm getting rid of the bad uh, management teams, the, the people who have not developed their asset, who have not continued to put out, you know, PFSs and advance the asset further. Um, and I'm really just sticking with the quality names that I've liked all along, ones where we know there's an asset that's not going anywhere, and we know how much that asset is worth, and we can continue to buy that at cheaper and cheaper prices. So right now in the resource market, it's really a flight to quality at this point, wouldn't you agree? Oh, absolutely, 100%. Um, even in my newsletter, I took some losses in the past couple of weeks. So, you know, we had to sell some assets that didn't have a chance of being put into production in the next three to five years. We had to sell some management teams who were constantly blowing smoke. No, I think it's a time of capitulation, and I just want to sell my shares and the ones that I don't want to hold before the next guy wants to sell his shares, because I think over the next six months, you're going to see that in a big way. Kind of to wrap up on the resource side of things, if someone who's very interested in the resource sector or that happens to be their main place that they go to look for new names or, or, or ideas, you know, what would you suggest you look for right now? Well, you have to look for the quality management team, right? You have to look for the people who aren't diluting their shares, who aren't raising money at lower prices, um, and the people who, who don't lie to you, right, to be honest. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of people blowing smoke in Vancouver, and those people have, you know, lasted this long. Some of them have already been, you know, kicked out or their companies have folded. But I think the, the really bad people, quote, unquote, in the mining sector hopefully go bye-bye in the next couple of months, and we'll be left with the high-quality names. Um, I like to think I'm trying to find the high-quality names now. That's sort of my shtick, right? And, you know, something that we talked about the podcast that I really loved that we covered was your idea on, on geopolitics when it comes to pretty much all sectors. So, you know, kind of to refresh our memories a little bit, let's talk about the importance of understanding what's going on in certain areas of the world so that maybe it can help you develop your own investment strategy. Well, certainly being plugged into the news is a crucial part of, you know, any informed person's life and certainly uh, more crucial for an investor. You need to know where things are happening from a geopolitical standpoint, as you said, whether it's, you know, the things going on in Syria with Putin now and the san sanctions we're putting on him that affects oil, that affects, you know, uranium. Um, so just knowing what's going on in the world, staying plugged in, I think, is, you know, one of the top ten things I would recommend doing for any investor. That way, you know, you don't get... You know, you don't get caught up in just the balance sheet or you don't get caught up in just the sector, but what affects the sector from the outside? For our audience that may not know about the Outsider Club, let's get a brief description about what you guys are doing over there. Outsider Club's a free newsletter, started in 2013, has about 300,000 people on it, and it's just really a, an investment newsletter soup to nuts for the retail investor. We cover all sectors of the market, uh, including retirement, so sector agnostic, technology, resources, agriculture, water, and then sort of how to do your day-to-day your -day planning, right, taking advantage of tax loopholes and IRAs and just simple things that the retail investor can do to keep more money in his pocket or and her pocket. And what's your background again? Uh, my background is a newsletter writer. This is the, the only gig I've had almost 10 years now, a decade in the space. So I uh, started as a research assistant at Angel Publishing uh, nearly a decade ago, and I've just really cut my teeth on researching companies and stocks and getting to know the management teams and doing the best I can to write about quality companies and opportunities. And for our audience that's used to not seeing you with a beard now, can you explain why you now have a beard again? The beard comes in every fall when the soil temperature hits 50 degrees in Maryland. <laughs> so where can our audience go and find more information about the Outsider Club? OutsiderClub.com. This is Robert Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Microcap Conference 2015 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With me again has been Nick Hodge from the Outsider Club. This was a Wall Street View. Nick, thank you again for coming on. Bobby, thank you very much. Always a pleasure.